Hey everyone, by now we have seen several applications of Pygame. We have practiced a lot. We made designs using the arrow keys, displayed user inputs on screen. We also made buttons in Pygame in the last video. Today, we will program an animated circle. So the circle would move around on the Pygame window. Let's write the code for it. I'll import Pygame. Initialize it then. I'll write pygame.init. Then I'll set up the screen. Write screen equals pygame.display.set mode. Let the screen size be 500, 500. Then I'll also give in a caption. I'll write pygame.display.set caption. Let the caption be animated circle. And then I'll go to my game loop. I'll write while true. You should be very comfortable doing all this because by now we have written this a lot of times. And then I'll have my for loop. I'll write for events in pygame.event.get. I'll check if events type equals pygame.quit. Then I'll quit. I'll call the quit function by pygame and I'll quit. Okay. I'll update the screen. Like by game dot display dot update. That's the basic framework. Let's get to the main code. Since I want my circle to move around, I'll leave its initial position. Let that initial position be five x comma y, and equal to two hundred comma two hundred. You can take any starting position. I have taken two hundred comma two hundred. Then I also need to set up the speed along both the directions. So along x direction, let it be xp and let xp be equal to 5. And along y direction, let it be yv and equal to minus 5. So what is this clause of plus and minus? If you're giving the speed along the x direction as positive, it should your object should go towards right. Otherwise, it should go to left if the speed is negative. Similarly, for y direction, if you're giving the speed to be negative, it should go upwards. And if it is positive, if the speed is positive, the object will go downwards. Okay. So the speed would tell you how much the displacement would be at a time. Then I'll have my clock object. I'll write clock equals pi game dot time dot clock to set up the frame, uh, frame rate later. Now I'll have a screen color. I'll write screen dot fill so let me fill my screen with color sky blue then i'll also need to draw the circle i need i need to move around so i'll write pygame dot draw dot circle and screen is the surface i'm going to draw on then the color let it be orange then the center coordinates are given by x and y x comma y then this radius, let it be 10 units. Okay. Now, after this for loop, outside this, I'll increment the x and y coordinates so that I can see my circle moving on the screen. So, I'll write x plus equals xv. I've incremented x coordinate with xv units by xv units. And similarly for y, I'll write y plus equals y b and to keep these x coordinates x and y coordinates within the boundaries within the screen i'll write if x is greater than 490 or x is less than 10 i'll change the direction okay how do i do that i'll change the sign okay i'll change the sign of the speed you can even reallocate the position but that would look like the circle is appearing out of nowhere at a sudden position that won't look nice so i want the motion to be regular and fine so that's why i'd be changing the direction rather than reallocating that coordinate okay similarly for y all right if y is greater than 490 i'm keeping a margin of 10 units or y is less than 10 i'll change the y v Cool. Now, after that, I'll update and have my clock object. I'll write clock.tick. Let the frame rate be 50. 
and let's run it and see if we get what we really want to see if we can see our circle moving uniformly let's run this now if i run this i can see my circle moving around in various directions changing its direction as it hits the uh, boundaries and everything works fine if i quit the screen goes away so this motion of the circle is not defined in the next video we will define this motion of the circle the path along which the circle moves would be some function so this was pretty much it for this video i hope you understood whatever we did thank you